This is a this is a bad behavior story of grand theft, I guess. You just advised me not to admit to anything criminal, and yet I feel like uh, this is far enough in the past that it's, it's probably okay. So I went to uh, I went to an undergraduate school called New Mexico Tech, and there's a mountain behind New Mexico Tech, which is mainly owned by uh, things, something called the Energetic Materials Research and Testing Corporation. They say that if you take all of the explosives they have on the mountain and set them off at once, you'll get about a tenth of a nuclear blast because they have so much junk back there. And like every day, it's Coro. Uh, the windows will rattle, sometimes the windows will break inside of the building because they'll be testing some kind of bomb against some kind of structure. And like, uh, it'll just be an energetic enough explosion that it'll shatter windows inside of the city. And so a favorite pastime of New Mexico Tech students is to like go into the foothills around the mountain and like walk around and there's all this cool stuff. Like there's tanks and there's a, there's a turret from a battleship, which is my favorite thing to like climb around inside with the cannon and everything. And the reason they drag this stuff out there is they're gonna blow it up eventually. Eventually, it all gets blown up. Um, and uh, once I was out there, and uh, we were sort of playing around on a tank. Like we got in the hatch of the tank, popped open, and uh, we were out down inside of the tank, like messing around, looking at the controls, yada yada yada. And I'm on top of the tank, and I see a searchlight, someone somewhere way off in the distance. And so. We all panic, uh, like there's three of us. One of the people who was there actually works for the Energetic Materials and Research Testing Corporation, so it would have been real bad news for him to be found right then and there flying around inside of a tank. So we all jump out of the tank. I don't know if it would be better to stay in the tank. But we jump out of the tank. We hide, hide underneath the top, underneath the tank. But it was too late. Like, they had seen us. They had seen us. And so this, uh, this kind of, like, Humvee pulls up, and it just drives around the tank, and it drives around the tank, and it drives around the tank. And they drive around the tank for half an hour, just, like, sort of letting us know that we're there. Like, we know that they have machine guns, because you see people out at the range driving around with machine guns. And in principle, they're supposed to shoot us, but they never really shoot New Mexico Tech students, and that's obviously what we were. Um, and so after half an hour worth of them driving around, they just leave us alone. They just, like, drive off get out and we're like, ah, jerks. And so we all stole uh, we all stole a missile. We all stole a missile and then we took them to an explosive expert in town who also works for Emertech, which is the acronym for the Interject Materials Research Testing Corporation. We had the guy take the missiles apart and, and ensure us that they were all diffused. They were very heavy. The one that I took was 80 pounds and I had to like walk several miles and it sort of slung across my back. And I remember thinking it was my own personal Jesus moment, like with this missile kind of <laughs> weighing me down, slogging through the, the, the darkness of the night. And that was my moment of worst behavior because I... But you know, they would have blown it up. They would have eventually blown it up. That's all that would have happened to it. It would have been blown up. And now I have a missile and I don't know what to do to, with it. To this day, it's underneath my bed at my parents' house. And Does anyone need a missile? Really, seriously. Or I could get it back. I don't know.